If you need a really high-end camera for an NVIDIA Jetson or a Raspberry Pi, Econ Systems is the company which can do it. And their cameras are really, really innovative, also from the way they are physically constructed. And in this video, I will take a look at the hardware and shortly there will be a follow video showing how to use the thing on a software point of view. So, this is the box, nice and solidly packed, which came to me from Chennai in India. And now it's time to cut in there. You see, they did a very good job packaging it, so I am quite happy. Even though, of course, unpacking it is a bit more work. And here we are. Inside, we find the actual package in here, which also looks very good. And we find a little invoice here as well. And this is such a magnetic box, like what we know from Giga device. Here we get this, what I like a lot, which makes it easier to get started. Here we have the actual camera very well packaged. We have a flat band cable for connectivity and a bit of desiccant silica here in the top. And this is already the actual camera which I've unpacked and you see very well done. Here it comes in its own little anti-static bag which we of course have to open because we want to see what's inside. And this is the actual camera. You see, it's a two PCB construction, which we are gonna look at in some detail right now. What you need to understand is that Econ systems are actually not only in the turnkey camera business, but they actually also design custom cameras. And to make their work easier, they use a modular approach. Here on top, we've got the lens, then we've got the actual camera sensor, which you see sits here on the first level acquisition PCB. And then below we've got the second level as in interface PCB. And these spaces, they are metal. This is in general quite a nice design. And given that this camera is intended for the Raspberry Pi platform, of course, here, we have the usual FPC connector where the wire plugs in, the FPC which then connects the camera to the Raspberry Pi. And incidentally, we see here another screw. So I am not sure, but I think it is entirely possible that this module might not be soldered, but actually is a press fit only. And of course, this construction you can also use it for a wide variety of other applications. And with that, I thank you for your attention for now. This is the first video, but the second video, which shows the camera in action, comes very shortly. So stay tuned and thank you for your attention. Bye bye.